My price prediction for XRP is not what you think it is. I'm gonna go into my full reasoning for thinking what I think. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's get straight into it. Price predictions are a, a funny thing in crypto, especially with XRP, because XRP has this unique position in the whole blockchain crypto sphere where true utility can come from the asset. It's not like anything we've ever really seen before. And I've gone through all of the different attempts to predict the price for XRP in my documentary video that you can see there on the screen, through to exploring all different types of models that people discuss. And I'm even on my own model, the Jackson Backus model, which uses burn rate as a factor in determining the price of a stable XRP. But none of these predictions have been my own personal prediction, my own personal opinion. They've all been exploring ideas. Even though my name is on a model, it's just me really exploring an idea with more calculations. But the big question on everyone's lips is what is your price prediction? I think actually many people don't even ask me that question because they think my price prediction is way up there in the tens of thousands. But that's the game we play, right? As content creators, our words are taken out of context a lot, but this is the video to address it all to give it straight to you. Now, as I mentioned, there are two different ways to look at crypto in general. You've got speculation and you've got utility. If we divide those two areas up into the duration of time each one of those has existed, it's pretty one-sided, okay? We've got speculation over here, which has occupied 100% of every second of the crypto market so far. And we've got utility, which has occupied of course, 0% of the way the markets run right now. Now, if we start talking about utility and the idea of tokens being bought at scale by the institutions, we're talking about XRP here, by institutions and bringing that circulating supply way down, obviously the demand for that asset would go way up, reduce supply, higher demand, the price goes up. But despite all of our desires for it to happen, it hasn't happened yet. And so you can get into utility-based predictions. And I think that's where things get a bit muddled because, you know, when you hear the likes of $50,000 per XRP, $10,000 per XRP, these are not speculation-based projections. They absolutely cannot be. And that's why you get such a wild prediction scale. You get everywhere from like $28 all the way up to $50,000, half a million dollars per XRP. It's because what we're trying to calculate in doing those things is something that has never happened. This is really, really important. It's never, ever happened. We cannot predict how these tokens will increase in value based on their demand and based on the supply. When in fact, we can do that, but we don't know what that looks like in that new world where utility is a thing. We don't know how many banks and institutions are gonna hold XRP versus use XRP. The hope is, is that they will need XRP to such a degree where they start to hoard XRP, right? And take it out of circulating supply just because they need it or they potentially will need it or because they think it's a good asset to speculate in, even in the utility environment, the speculation. You know, they could speculate on hoarding XRP because they're seeing so many people using it. They think, well, this is going to go up in value. Let's hold some. We're hoping for that. The degree to which that impacts the price of a token is unknown. We don't know how that looks. We don't know at a massive scale how on-demand liquidity, for example, impacts the price of XRP. We don't think it's going to be a massive price driver, but it certainly will impact the price to some degree. And when I say not a massive price driver, does that mean from up to $10 using ODL? Does it mean $100? Like what are we gauging as small in this situation? And so with utility predictions, I think they're it's just impossible to know. And because it's impossible to know, it's very difficult to formulate exit strategies based on such random numbers, such impossible numbers. And that's why my exit strategy is not based on a utility prediction, but actually a speculation prediction. So let's get into it. Speculation predictions for entire crypto cycles, they seem to be around four years and they are not related to the Bitcoin halving. Everyone goes, oh, they're not related to the Bitcoin halving. It's actually more correlated to the idea of whenever the stock market goes into new all time highs, that's when a crypto bull run occurs. And so that was actually discovered by blockchain backer. You should go and watch his videos. Incredible insights. 
but the halving is is not a thing that doesn't dictate when the bull runs happen but when the stock market does go into new all-time highs typically because we are biologically based and this is speculation speculation is an emotion right you feel greedy or fear that fear and greed dictates the price over time and so because that is biological in nature the way we react on a chemical level biologically uh, the price can only go up to a certain point and it comes down only to a certain point within the capacity of the human right the people pressing the buttons of course you can get into manipulation but even then manipulation is still human behavior acting out just in higher volumes and so the only way to gauge price movement for biological beings is to use a biological based indicator if you're around at the beginning of the channel we talked extensively about the fibonacci retracement tool it's helped me so much over time in predicting overall price for long movements. When, especially when you look at Bitcoin, for example, it's accurately predicted the last bull run, I mean, on the button to the exact price the last bull run would have went to for Bitcoin, for example. Of course, then the rest of the market follows Bitcoin. And so when I look at that price prediction for the next bull run, it has to be, in my opinion, confined to a speculation bull run using the Fibonacci scale. And so before we get into the exact numbers here for XRP that are predicted for this speculation bull run incoming, whether it's speculation or utility, nobody knows, but we do know it's been 100% speculation to this point and 0% utility to this point. So you have to hedge your bets, or at least in my opinion, you have to hedge your bets based on what has happened, not what has never happened, right? That's kind of difficult. When I'm looking at accumulating cryptocurrency, I'm not accumulating for their utility value because as we know, that's very difficult to pin down. It's impossible to know. But what we can do is accumulate for a biological move over a long period of time, let's say four years. When you look at the Fibonacci scale and you place it on this last bull run all the way down to the, the bottom of this bear market that we've been in, the prices come anywhere in between eight, 11 12 dollars for xrp in this next bull run should what has always happened happens again and that is a speculation environment that is that would be a typical move for xrp and the rest of the market in that environment so when i'm accumulating for example and i'm let's say i think of a hundred thousand dollar xrp i'm not just going to buy 10 xrp and say i'm all good i'm just going to wait for the hundred thousand that's that's just not going to work right i'm not going to just buy 10 xrp Instead, what I'm doing, if I wanted to make a million dollars, right, I would accumulate an, an amount of tokens necessary to reach the million dollars should the price of XRP get to $8. Because based on the Fibonacci scale, that biologically backed indicator, a typical movement for XRP in a full bull run would be anywhere between $8 and $13, right? So I'm going to accumulate for that, that instance. I'm not going to accumulate for something that has never happened and never proven to happen. And I say that like the utility is never gonna happen. That's not, ex that's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you're looking at taking profits, look at the Fibonacci scale for, we talked about confidence levels in exit strategy the other day. Not many people watched that video. So if you did, fantastic, keep it to yourself. But if you want to hedge against the great reset, you might buy some gold or silver. If you want to hedge against the idea of a utility event happening and utility takes over in this next bull run then you might want to take less profits right in the short term because then you'll have more assets to grow over the long term in a utility environment so it's all about your confidence of a speculation environment and a utility environment occurring and then with that confidence level with those percentages you can decide how much you're going to allocate to take profit on in the short term in a speculation environment at speculative price predictions and i think that should be confined to a biologically based indicator being the fibonacci retracement tool now i was almost going to reserve this video to be exclusively on the mastermind the mastermind was launched last thursday and has been massively successful lots of people have joined updates happening all the time at the end of the video i'm going to talk about that a little bit more but i decided that because i get this question so much in the comments and publicly I get this question a lot I'm just going to put it on the YouTube channel and I hope you can see my justification for why I think what I think and how sometimes you shouldn't always listen to what people say someone that you watch thinks and instead you should try and ask them from the horse's mouth what do you really think is happening so when it comes to price predictions for me I'm looking at eight to thirteen dollars for XRP if a speculation environment remains 
at the peak of the next bull run. If you're interested in hearing more about the 1% mastermind that I created last Thursday, keep watching to the end of the video. But from me for now, stay emotionless. I'll see you in the next one. Over the last six months, things have started to shift. And by a shift, I mean, over the last six months, more people who meet that high net worth individual status have been contacting, asking me if I can facilitate large crypto purchases, connect them with people in private equity. And I found quite frankly, that I've been quite good at that. And as time has gone on, I've really realized that I can connect people with some fantastic deals, great investment opportunities, and provide solutions for people at that level that you've probably never thought of. I acknowledge that not everyone is a high net worth individual, at least yet. And so that's exactly why I've created the 1% Mastermind. Over the last two years of making content, I've seen one of the biggest demands and needs of the audience is to have a list of professionals that you can contact when this whole thing takes off. When all the money comes in, our portfolios are of high value, what now? What do we do? Who do we contact? There's also a group of individuals that want to improve and do business and network among other millionaires to be. Nobody in the digital asset space has ever seen anything like this. Wherever you are in the world, the plan of the mastermind is to be able to connect you with professionals, not only in accounting and tax and law and estate planning, but to connect you with individuals who actually understand the assets you hold. We know about this all too well. We call an accountant and you know more about Bitcoin and XRP than they do. And it's not just a directory of professionals that we're offering here. We also have unique investment opportunities for individuals, even if you don't meet the accredited investor requirements. When you think about diversifying your assets in the long term, you might be considering real estate, venture capital, private equity. You won't need to go over here to find a deal you won't need to go over here to find a deal. It will all be housed in that one central location and you'll be surrounded by individuals that are on the same page as you and want the same thing, not just for themselves, but they want the same thing for you. In addition to all of that, we'll also have a library of content answering your specific questions, not made for views, not made for engagement, but made specifically to add value to the library of content that there will be. As time goes on, the price of the membership will actually go up and likely will go up every single week from here on out. So join the 1% Mastermind today and I'll see you in there.